Hello, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome to Sausage Fingers Gaming. Today I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing. I got a package through and I have got one person to thank for this. One of my Patreons, Joseph, thank you very much. Fellow ex-service person, hey look, there's a picture of my old boss, Liz. Right, let's get this bad boy opened. Okay, I've got some tools, my installation equipment, here we go. Ooh, it's shiny. Check this out. Look. I had to get it straight from Natural Point. Track IR. I got the, the, the um, Track Clip Pro as well. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. Idea being, it's supposed to fit on my headset. I don't have to wear a cap and all that malarkey. Right, so, upon opening said package, what do we receive? We've got this, it's cardboardy. Quick start guide, I think we'll be needing that. Yes. Okay, I'll put that to one side, we'll keep that. And here we go, here's the business. Got to say, it was quite sturdily packaged. Software download instructions. CD has not been included. Yes. So we have to download it straight from Tinternet. Another quick start guide. Okay. Install software. Right. To put all this to, to one side as well. This is the box that you get. Look, immersive. Right, now, the business end. This is the little beady camera. Got loads of room for that on top. Feels quite sturdy, to be honest. Doesn't feel very tinny. Looks like quite a long cable and all. Our little butchers. Uh, yeah. Well, it's 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 quite long. Yeah, <laughs> more than long enough to do the job. So we'll pop that up there. Now, this is the clippy bit. I have no idea how to use this. This does feel quite flimsy. Ah, this is for the cap, I believe. So you get this as well. All right, fair enough. These are the, the IR reflectors. This bit's bagged, I don't know why. I don't know what it's for yet. Ah, yeah, I do. This is for our little camera. That's for positioning. Is that magnetic? Do you know what? That is cool as chips, that is. Look at that. Check that out. Get off cable. Right. So you can just pop it off and leave the stand attached to your TV, or your monitor, sorry. Wow, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a nice touch. Okay. Now. Again, plenty of cable. I can extend that as well, if I should so desire. Whoa. No, yeah, got a good good couple of metres of cable there. This feels a lot sturdier than I thought it would. I've heard reports of this being quite flimsy. 
but it doesn't appear to be the case to be honest. Okay, so there are your little IR lights in there, your little infrared lights. Sausage, sausage, sausage. This is your little clip. It's very spongy inside, so it's not going to damage your headphones. How does this work? And that's how it locks. Right, fantastic. I will get this thing set up. Okay, got me headphones. I don't use my microphone, so I'm hoping that won't, like, get in the way. Right, with this little clip, I've got to open this up. Just pop it on the up, and it says, just snap it shut. Simple as that. Okay. Now, it says to make sure it's straight. It's looking straight to me, and if not, that turns anyway. So, that was as easy as that. That bit's done. Right, fine. Happy days. Now, with the camera, the camera's magnetic, so that can pop on and off. Notice this as well, which it does tell you about in the instructions. Once you've actually put it on your monitor, that takes the tension off the cable. So you just pop it in there, squish it in. That's great. I like that, that's a nice touch. Now, there's two sets of USBs. I thought that was for a USB extender, but it's not. Basically, this is the one from this, and this is the one, I presume, which goes into the back of your PC. So this has to go in here. Always the wrong way up, it's the law. And that is that bit done, right. On the monitor it says to place this on the left hand side of the monitor basically directly where it would be facing this so that is what i'm going to do there we go i presume final adjustments will be required but i think we are good to get the installation underway right onto the screen Okay, so here we are on a desktop. I've got the camera set up on the left-hand side of my monitor a bit. I've got the thing on the side of my head, the Track, track Clip Pro. Now, I've got to do the installation process. I haven't plugged the camera in yet, so trackir.com download. Let's do this. Download the latest TrackIR installer, this one. Okay, that is done. Now I'm going to run it. Do it. I trust you, Natural Point. Not, um, yeah, I'm going to always trust you. Look, it's doing it. This will install Track IR5 on your computer. To continue, click Next. I am clicking next. I accept. Read, read. Yes. I'm just going to leave it where it is. Click install to begin the installation. It is successfully installed. Click finish to exit the wizard. Exiting the wizard. Okay. Run the installer and follow its prompts. Note. Track IR software must be running before starting your game slash sim. Plug in the camera. Rummage, rummage. I am plugging in the camera. The camera is plugged in. Okay. Now it says set up the camera. Attach camera to base using the magnetic connector. Base and camera may be disconnected as needed. Done that. Place the camera on your monitor, adjust the camera so that it's lined up with your track clip. I have done that. Attach the track clip. Although I'm using the Pro clip, this is talking about the hat clip. The spring steel clip slips easily onto a hat brim or headset because you will get that with it as well. If you haven't got the Pro clip, that is. Adjust position. Right, my camera is a lot higher than my head. So I'm going to have to see how it goes because my monitor is raised. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. P 
Position your track clip level with the camera and in the center of its field of view for the best performance. Position the device further away if you'd like more room to move around. We suggest somewhere between two and five feet. I am between two and five feet, so hopefully that should work. Clip the USB cable into the strain relief in the base to secure it. That was the little bit that I showed you earlier. Alrighty then, seven, finished. Now you've completed the installation and setup process. Remember, track IR software must be running before starting any track IR enhanced titles. Right, that's the quick start guide for that. I'm gonna go for the pro for the track clip pro quick start guide now. Attach track clip pro, done that. Snap shut, done that. Connect your computer. I've also done this. Track IR software setup. Okay. Let's start this. There. Track Clip Pro. Let's press this. Wow. How stable is that right off the bat? That's fantastic. I have tried a... I've, I've built my own track IR um, cheaply out of infrared lights. I've done the cap one. I've tried the infrared tape and I've tried certain face track software. Although I wear glasses and I've got a beard, it didn't like me very much at all. It When I'd spent hours setting them up, it wasn't as stable as this straight out of the box. Let's go for advanced settings. Hang on, let's follow this first. Select Track Clip Pro in the Tracking Target box under the Basic Settings section. I have done this for suggestions and warnings. Nothing, really. That is us. Done, done, and done. Okay, I've got to work out how to use dead spots and all that kind of stuff. But my initial impressions are this is just absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, absolutely fantastic. What I'm hoping to do is use this on Star Citizen for a replacement for a gimbal. That is insanely precise. I think I've already answered my question. I haven't used this in game yet and I will do a further video of this in game. I'm gonna work out how to do dead spots and all that kind of stuff. What's this we've got? Panel view, thingy view. Ha ha ha, right, okay. So here we've got profiles, we're gonna go. I'm gonna leave this for now. So this is how we invert and set up our curves as it were, and all that kind of stuff. What a piece of kit and what a piece of software. Titles, look at this. Look at all of this, right. We've got to go straight down, haven't we, to S. It's only there. So I have got a small dead spot. I suppose with this, I could actually increase that dead spot somewhere. Somewhat, even. Yep. Yeah. That's a good little dead spot, that. So now I can look about on my monitor. Check it out. Yeah. This is so easy to set up. I can't believe it. Fantastic. Okay. So this has been the unboxing of the Track IR and the Track Clip Pro. This is the five. Another great big thank you to Joseph Hopper. Ex-serviceman like myself. Thank you, brother. I would never in a million years be able to afford something like this. So this is just immensely fantastic. He's one of my patrons. My patrons are the guys who enable me to continue to create content like, content like this. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. If you enjoyed this, give us a like and a subscribe. And look forward to the next video where I will be taking Track IR into Star Citizen and we will see how it performs. Yes. Laters.
Oh, 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 oh,